is a reaction. Another chemical reaction that is called as thermal dissociation reaction. So first we try to get inside what is this thermal dissociation reaction. Now it is basically reversible. It is basically reversible thermal decomposition reaction. So it is basically reversible thermal decomposition reaction in which reactants decompose on heating to give you product. But product also shows a tendency to recombine with each other in order to give reactant back on cooling. This is thermal dissociation reaction. So let me take one example here for understanding thermal dissociation reaction. As we know, we have ammonium chloride that is NH4Cl. It is white color crystalline solid. It is white color crystalline solid. Now when I heat, when I heat this white crystalline solid, it decomposes into ammonia gas and hydrogen chloride gas. It decomposes into ammonia gas and hydrogen chloride gas. Okay. Now, what is this hydrogen chloride and ammonia gas which is formed? They recombine with each other when they come in contact with cooler surface. They recombine with each other when they come in contact with cooler surface in order to give solid ammonium chloride back. Now here your reactant ammonium chloride decomposes to give you ammonia and HCl. So that's in thermal decomposition. But what are the ammonia and HCl which has been formed? They recombine with each other. That's why the process becomes reversible. That's why the process becomes reversible to give you once again solid ammonium chloride back. Okay. Now another example related to this is PCL5. So I have phosphorus pentachloride. Phosphorus pentachloride. Now this phosphorus pentachloride when heated, when heated, it decomposes to give PCL3 and Cl2. PCL3 is your phosphorus trichloride phosphorus trichloride and chlorine gas and chlorine gas now this phosphorus trichloride and chlorine gas once again recombine with each other to give PCL5 so this is once again a case of reversible reaction first the reactant undergoes decomposition to give product a product also shows a tendency to recombine with each other and form the reactant back. Now, the major difference present between your thermal decomposition and thermal dissociation is that in thermal decomposition reaction, reactant gets converted into product. Product do not show any tendency to recombine back with each other to give reactant back okay so that's the difference thermal decomposition reaction your reactants are getting converted into product but product never shows the tendency to recombine with each other so as to give you reactant back thank you for watching